Hey everybody, it's me Ian. Welcome back for another episode of Anime Talk. Now today, we will be discussing Mirai Nikki, or Future Diary, as it's more commonly known in the West. So, what is this anime about? Let's get right to it. So, um, our main character, Yukutero Amino, he's your average high school boy, and you know, one day, he, along with 11 other random people, are... Um, assigned a future diary, which means their diaries that, like their their virtual diaries that these eleven that these twelve people do, the twelve diary users, they usually wh what their diary does is that the purpose of their diary is to like tell the future in the way that is specific to them. Yuki, the main character, just Yuki for short, um, he usually take keeps track of everything. On a daily basis of anything what he sees around him. Therefore, his future diary um, keeps track of everything that's going to happen around him in the future. And our other main protagonist, um, you know, Gasai, she has a diary. And it's all focused around Yuki because, you know, she's in love with him. And, you know, she keeps a diary of what everything he does. So, therefore, her future diary... Tells everything about what's going to happen to Yuki from her perspective. And, you know, you have the other 10 diary users. And basically, it's run by this... It's like a game run by this... Um, by this god called Deus Ex Machina. And, you know, basically, the job... The, like, the, the main goal is to eliminate the other diary users. And whoever wins gets to succeed him in the throne of God, basically. And, you know, it's... Basically, Battle Royale, and, you know, throughout the 24 episodes, 26 episodes, you get to see, like, you know, the drama that happens, and, like, you know, um, you see the main characters, two main characters, first and second, um, Yuki and Yuno, you see them, you know, fighting against, you know, the other, the other diary users, and, you know, some of the more prominent ones are Ninth and Fourth, who basically join them to make an alliance kind of not really and you know there are some other characters that are introduced that are not diary users such as Hinata um Aru Akase and some others and you know they basically join in the main group too and yeah that's basically the main plot of of Miraniki so what do I like about it um you know I really liked the concept even though, you know, it's basically your typical battle royale story, it's a unique way to tell it. Because, you know, you got these, the concept of the future diaries that will be able to, like, oh, like, if something happens, you know, that future will change, and then your diary will change. And it's a unique concept. And I really like the character, I really like, you know, Gasai. Who doesn't? I mean, like, this is my first experience with a Yandere character in anime. Well, not really. <laughs> I, um, what, what was that other girl's name? Mi, Mina Zutke in, um, Dead Man Wonderland. I guess she was t t t technically Yandere. But this is like, you know, the most popular Yandere girl. And, you know, from finishing the series, she was really good. She was a really good character, you know. She had a nice and charming side to her when she was around Yuki. But she'd get really defensive and, you know, she would get, you know, crazy about him. And, you know, that could lead to some stuff. You know, murder and stuff like that. Just saying. And, um, you know, um, Yuki, Yukutero, he, um, you know, he's, he's basically, you know, you're just the average man brought into this weird game and he has no idea what's going on. He's so scared to like kill people. And, you know, then after a while, he kind of opens up some stuff happens that makes him want to achieve the goal of God. And yeah, um. So yeah, I really like the characters, you know. All the diary users, they all have something interesting about them, you know. Um, 12th, he's like this crazy Power Rangers inspired person. Um, 10th, keeps a lot of dogs. Um, 5th, he's like a little child. Um, 9th is a terrorist. 8th is like the, like a worker of an orphanage. Um, 6th is like this, like, god, self-proclaimed god. Fourth is like an investigator. Three is like a teacher. So on and so forth. I basically just gave the whole thing away. 
But, you know, there weren't surprises. You know, they show them all in the first episode. Um, but, you know, I really liked it. Well, what didn't I like? Um, first of all, the version I watched was censored. Whoops. I saw it censored. <laughs> Don't worry, I did watch those scenes. I did watch it again uncensored. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I did watch it dubbed. I do watch a lot of my anime dub, um, you know, ex excluding like, you know, Attack on Titan, My Little Monster, Parasite, stuff like that. But like, the big ones, you know, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a more dub person, you know. I don't mind subs, but I, I prefer dubs. Like, you know, I'm watching, like, um, okay, I watch Full Metal Alchemist dubbed, um, Death Note dubbed, Death Parade dubbed, um, Girl and Log On dubbed. A lot of these animes I've seen were dubbed, you know. I saw Mira and Nikki dubbed, uh, Fairy Tale I'm watching dubbed, and, um, you know, uh, No Game No Life I saw dubbed, you know, Squid Girl I'm watching dubbed, uh, Is Run to Try to Pick Up a Girl in the Dungeons I saw dubbed, or no, subbed. That one hasn't had a dub yet. But yeah, that's basically, I watch a lot of dub, and, you know, dubs sometimes are really good. I really like this one's dub, especially, because, you know, the characters, their roles, they seem to fit. And, yeah, I guess another thing I liked was the OVA, which is basically the follow-up to the ending of Mirai Nikki. And I won't give anything away, but let's just say it's it's a satisfying conclusion to the story, to say at least. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, what didn't I like? Yeah, I don't think there's that much I didn't like. So, yeah. Uh, I really liked this anime. Um, it was really good. Um, the animation was... Mm, it was alright. It wasn't anything like spectacular or anything like that. No, it was just your average Battle Royale anime. And, you know, Yuki and Yuno. They were cute. They were cute. They were cute. And, you know, I really liked the other diary users and all their unique traits and stuff like that. And the, and the concept of diaries. That was really good. So, yeah, overall, I'd give this anime uh, 8 out of 10, probably. So, yeah. And the OVA, I give it a 9 out of 10. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, why not consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing. Go check out my anime list just so you guys can find out what animes I'm watching or what I finished. And, yeah, um, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Take care.